Hello and welcome to this first video documenting our filmmaking process. So the purpose of this series isn't to teach anyone how to make a short film. Um, we are three filmmaking students. Uh, we're doing our final project at university. Um, and we each have to make a short film, so this is us each making those three short films. I'll be writing and directing um, all three of them. My brother Tom, who's also on the same course as me, will be producing all three of them. As well as our friend Dante, who is on the same course, working on cinematography for all three of them. So like I said previously, I don't want to um, sell this as a tutorial for making short films. It's really just to document um, our journey making these three short films. We've made advertisements and, and music videos and even short films before. Um, we know what we're doing, but this behind the scenes series will probably just be a lot of us sort of screaming <laughs> and giggling. <laughs> <laughs> our way through uh, making these short films. Because we are such a small crew, we, we work with a few other people, but um, it's mainly us three. So we do have to um, sort of try and learn new skills on the spot and take on things that we wouldn't normally have to if we had um, people doing it for us. A lot of the time we're just sort of winging it, but we do manage to pull it off every time. So hopefully um, this will be an interesting behind the scenes where you see all our mistakes and test runs. And then you'll see the final product where you can't tell any of that happened and um, it's actually a good film. So this first episode I wanted to just talk a little bit about how we came up with each idea, um, talk about the GoFundMe that we've got running at the moment and show you some of the footage from one of the first test days that we had. So telling you about each film and uh, telling you about the GoFundMe can really be one thing. Um, I'm going to show you the GoFundMe video that we've got up on there that explains just a little bit about the concept for each film. If you've already seen this, um, that means you've been to the GoFundMe page, so thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> if you've already been to the GoFundMe page, you will have seen this video, so uh, feel free to skip ahead. But um, this is basically just a video showing who's working on the film, a little bit about what each one is about, and um, yeah, I'll just play. I'll, I'll just play the video. Hello and welcome. My name is Ryan Dobson and I'm a filmmaking student from Leeds, currently working on my final projects. I work as a director closely with my brother Tom Dobson, who works as our producer, and our friend Dante Soleri, who works as cinematographer. During our degree, we created our own production company, House 84, that has so far created music videos, advertisements, and covered live events. For our final projects on this degree, we will be creating three short horror films. This GoFundMe campaign is to cover the production costs of all three of those films. If you would like to follow the production of these films in more depth, you can go over to the Watch Me Movie YouTube page. We're going to be posting a short behind the scenes vlog of the film's production right up until the film's completion over there. Our projects require that we all take creative lead on at least one film. However, I will be writing and directing all three and that's why I am here telling you about them all. So with that in mind, let me tell you a little bit about each one. Our first film is Over Me, and this one has Tom as the creative lead. Over Me leans more towards the thriller side of the horror genre, and it's an experiment first and foremost in creating tension through cinematography. It's also an observation of a man who refuses to take responsibility for his actions. The more he does to avoid owning up to these things, the further he slips and the more damage he causes. We hope to make this one a unique viewing experience and take the viewer on a real panic inducing journey. Our second film, All Our Love, has Dante as creative lead and is an ambitious project with some intricate symbolism. It is set in a world where a species of human much bigger than ourselves has taken over and enslaved us. They prey on and eat the young and the human race has very few surviving children left. The film will follow two parents trying to keep their child safe until it is old enough and the giants lose interest. Our final film is called Round and it's mine. I wrote Round when I was thinking about what scared me as a parent to a teenage son in an inner city. It's a film following a young man trying to navigate this world, where the dangers associated with living in a bad area are actually represented by monsters. 
more specifically Vampires and Their Curse, is a film about being a good support network and not giving up on people who may be going through dark times. This was obviously a very brief overview into each film and the idea behind them. If you would like to see the production more in depth, then like I said before, you can go over to the Watch Me Movie YouTube page and start watching the vlog. We plan to fund these films as much as we can out of our own pockets, but anything we manage to raise here will just help us to have a higher production value. We can invest in things like blood pumps and squibs and more prosthetics rather than doing things on a zero budget level. The money will also go towards entering each film into film festivals when they're completed. We appreciate any support we receive in making our final films before we graduate and hopefully kickstarting our careers. Thank you for watching. So like I said in the video, um, we are mainly trying to fund this out of our own pockets, um, out of the student loans and stuff. The additional money that we're asking for on the GoFundMe is just to make life a bit easier with uh, production costs. The VFX, um, we could put more money into that and make sure that everything looks convincing and extra gory. As well, it'll go towards um, submission fees for film festivals afterwards, so we can try and p push it as far as it'll go, um, as long as it comes out decent. So the link to the GoFundMe is in the description if you want to help support the making of these three films. Um, thank you to everyone who's been over there already. I know a few people from the channel have been over when they saw it on the community tab. But yeah, even if we don't achieve that goal, then um, you know the films can still go ahead. The next thing that we do after sort of doing the script and the storyboard is going on to test out the ideas that are within the film. Um, so things like VFX or if there's any action that we need to choreograph, special camera shots that are going to require like a lot of planning, um, all things like that. So we're really in the testing stage at the moment. Um, that's mainly what this first episode is going to cover. We've only done a couple uh, so far. We've done, uh, we've tested out the vampire makeup on me briefly. We uh, did a test fall for Tom's script. did some testing, um, f taking the Canon C500 Mark II um, out at night in the car to make sure that the low light was going to give the look that I wanted it to and not be too noisy and stuff. That took us a few weeks to uh, perfect. We had to keep going out and doing tests and seeing what we got wrong. It was a lot to do with getting the auto black balance set after changing each environment um, and also using the denoising the noise reduction settings within the canon itself and then um we had a test day where we went out to one of the locations for dante's film The idea was to take out this box that we've constructed um, that's part of Dante's story where the the mother and the father keep the they're trying to keep the child safe and they literally put him in a box and carry him around so they can't be seen by giants. So the idea was to take this box that we've built for that film um, up to one of the locations and just get some promo shots for like posters and stuff. Um, test out the logistics of filming from within inside the box um, so Tom has basically spent weeks building this box in different ways just because we kept forgetting that it would need stuff like the lid would need to be on the hinge the back would have to be able to detach so we can fit the camera in when um, we're filming from inside the box and it all needed to be able to be broken down into flat pieces um, so that we could travel with it and stuff. As I mentioned before, um, we often have to sort of learn skills that we haven't got to cover the fact that we can't use professionals for this sort of stuff. So um, I'll start off 
this coverage of that test by saying that none of us are carpenters. Uh, <laughs> none of us are really good at uh, DIY and stuff like that. It's, it's just not our, our thing with like camera guys and um, writers. So, but none of that excuses the fact that we saw the weather before we set off and decided to persevere. <laughs> You might find it admirable that we stayed in that location fighting that weather. I'm getting crushed by a car door. The weather is not on our side. Um, but you'd probably also find the ending to it inevitable as well. We each had a camera with us. Dante had the C500, I had the GH5, and Tom was strapped with a GoPro. We're going to be a Mr. Balling video, aren't we? <laughs> if anything happens to us, we get full permission from Mr. Balling. Uh, so, use this video. Make our story. Uh, I think we should go. Look at the waves, man. Look at the waves, man. Get up there. Yeah, just stopping. Waterproof or half. Yeah. Just wear the full suit next time. Just sitting with waterproof. I thought this was waterproof. Obviously not. I hate your film! I can't see what I'm looking at now, it's just my eyes are full of water. Get in you little I literally can't see. It's so bad. Right, this is stupid. So we were just going, because there's a few scenes that um, are sort of set around there, a few shots. Um, so we're basically going and, and testing out the C500 in, in those environments, as well as trying to get the box set up and just taking one promotional shot. That's all we wanted um, out of the day. We saw the weather. Um, how long is it? How long does it take to drive there? How long did it take us? So it's about uh, an hour and a half drive. We'd driven all the way there. We saw the weather kept sort of fluctuating between being okay and being like really bad so we decided to persevere we've come all that way and then all right, so we've um tried out the practicalities of filming up here it's going to be very so that's treacherous but i think it'll that one yeah i think it'll be okay at the minute um we just put in together the box that features in Dante's film um, to get some shots for the promotional material. Hard enough doing it for house. Flat land. And we fought the weather. Oh! Right, hold on. <laughs> Take this off. This is going to look sick for the picture. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Right. <sighs> Get in there, you <laughs> Oh! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> And eventually um, got the box together in a spot where we could take at least a promotional image. Can you walk away from it? Try. Try it. Try it. And 
then obviously, um, well, obviously this happened. That was before we had a chance to take the promotional shot, so... Well, not a wasted time. But yeah, that was uh, pretty much it for that test day. So, um, coming up we've got the casting to do. Um, we have got a few actors that we've got in place already, but there's a few spots we need to fill in each film. We need to do a lot more testing, so we'll make sure that we keep getting footage of that to um, put on these episodes. Then it'll get into the sort of rehearsals. Probably got a few more location scouts to do, so we'll get footage of that. Um, yeah, like I said, then it'll be on with rehearsals and sort of locking the schedule in. Um, and it'll probably be a few episodes before we get to actually actually filming the real the real scenes. So yeah, that's it for uh, this first episode. Go have a look at the GoFundMe. Um, any support there is much appreciated. Once again, thank you to anyone who's come from the channel and um, already donated. That means you've been engaging with the community post. And I know a few people have done that already. Yep, and that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And that was totally the wrong order.